Okay, hi. So in this video, what I'm going to talk about and explain is the process by which you balance a redox equation. Balancing a redox equation is much harder than balancing chemical equations in the same way you've seen before. This is mostly because of the involvement of water. Many redox reactions occur in the presence of water, and either acidic or basic conditions will help to make this reaction faster. Remember that H plus and OH minus exist in pure water as is, but it's a very small concentration. So we often add amounts of acid to have an acidic condition or add amounts of base, OH minus, to make a basic condition. And that helps to make redox reactions faster because redox reactions need the transfer of electrons. One of the definitions of an acid, for example, is something that can accept electrons. H plus, positive charge, can accept E minus, electrons. OH minus, as a base, can donate electrons to something else. So this is the Bronsted-Lowry definition, I believe, of an acid and a base. So let's have a look at balancing a redox reaction. So first off, let's have a look at this example. As2O3 plus NO3 minus goes to H3AsO4 plus nitrogen monoxide gas. So, there are quite a few interesting things going on in this equation. I think you can tell right away. What is unbalanced about both sides? Well, one thing is that there are H's here, which are not anywhere on this side. The other thing, there's a negative charge here, which is not on this side. So this means that we're going to have to bring in some other species to help make this reaction happen. And that other species is going to be water and either H plus or OH minus. Now this is taking place in acidic media, so we'll start with H+, but I will say that when you do a basic media redox reaction, you start with H+, as well, and then add OH- later, and we'll get onto that when we do. So first, we have to turn this into two separate half equations, which is As2O3 becoming H3AsO4, that will be one of our equations, one and two. Then we have to show the NO3 minus becoming NO. Then we're going to combine those equations back together again and see how much water, H plus, et cetera, et cetera, was needed. So let's do NO3 minus and NO first because that's a little bit easier. So NO3 minus, going to leave some space by the arrow to add extra things in, becoming NO. Now the first thing we can see is that we're losing two oxygens from this side to this side. Our nitrogens are already balanced, but now we need to get rid of two oxygens from this side. As such, the only thing that has oxygens, or the only thing that the only form the oxygens can be given off as in a acidic solution is water. So we're going to add two H2O here. This is because H2O only has one oxygen. We have three here, and now we have three here. Good stuff. However, because we have now 4H on this side, we need 4H on this side. It's happening in acidic media, so we can add 4H+. Only problem is now we have a, an, an imbalance of charge. So we have NO3 minus 4H+, this means overall 3H3 plus on this side, and 0 on this side. So we need to add electrons on this side, and that is what we're going to do, 3E minus. Okay. So this half equation is now balanced. The charges are balanced, the amounts of oxygens are balanced, the amounts of hydrogens are balanced. Now we're going to balance the other equation. So As2O3 becoming H3AsO4. So the first thing you do, equation like this, balance the non-H and O things first. Up here we balance the N first, then the O. Here we're going to balance As. So AS, we have two on this side, only one on this side, nice and straightforward, balanced. Next, we should balance O using H plus and H2O. So on this side, we have three oxygens. On this side, we have eight oxygens, two times four. Therefore, we need to add a total of five water molecules. Now we balance the H's. On this side, we have 10. On this side, we have, yeah, better. We have six. As such, we need four H's on this side, and that's what we're going to add in here. Finally, we have to balance the charges. Here, we are all neutral. Here, we have four H+, therefore we need to add four E-. 
surface. And now our equations are balanced on both sides. Because what we need to do now is combine these two half equations back into one whole equation. But we do need the electrons, the amount of electrons to cancel out. The movement of electrons is effectively the chemical reaction that's happening here. If we go back up to the top, you can see that you have something which is charged becoming something which is not charged. So the thing which is moving or changing is electrons. We want to balance the number of electrons. So the thing which is giving out the electrons and the thing which is accepting the electrons. Let me rephrase that. The thing which is accepting the electrons, because we're doing NH3 minus plus 4H minus, 4H plus, plus 3E minus, must balance the amount of electrons being given out by this reaction. As such, to balance these two, we must times this whole reaction by 4 and this whole reaction by 3. So what you should do now, have a go pausing this video and then writing out both sides of this. Multiply everything here by 4 and everything here by 3. You pause it, I'm just going to write it out myself on here. Now leave the equation at the top. So, what that simplifies down to is 16H plus plus 12E minus plus 4NO3 minus going to 4NO and 8H2O. Then our other equation, being fully balanced, is 3As2O3 plus 15H2O going to 6H3ASO4, 12H plus, and 12E minus. So, now that you've done that, two separate equations, again apologies for the mess, you can cancel out things which can be cancelled out on either side of the arrow, similar to the Hess reactions that you do, the combining of equations. So you can get rid of these. You have 15 water here, 8 water here, so you're going to end up with 7 water over on this side. Ooh, my pen is not working very well. 7 water. Let's cross them out. Then you can add everything else together to get your full balanced equation. So let's do that now. 3As2O3 plus 7H2O plus 16, ooh, I forgot to do the H plus, so 16H plus here, 12H plus here, they're all going to cancel out to 4H plus, 7H2O, 4H plus, so 3As2O3, 7 water, 4H plus, our electrons are gone, and on this side we're going to make 4NO and 6 h 3 ASO4. So, what we started with was up here. This was our starting equation. Unbalanced, incorrect, not enough detail added. And if you need confirmation of that, we have a negative charge here, which is not on this side, and we have H's on here, which are not on this side. So we need to add things in. And in this case, it's H+. After you follow the process, you combine them, you'll get a fully balanced equation that looks like this. And it looks incredibly complicated, but when you check to see if it's all balanced, that's seven, you will see that that is the correct answer. Okay, So I hope that helps for balancing equations in acidic media. Oh my god, so doing all these things in one take means mistakes can be made. I just watched it back and realized, of course, I have four NO on this side and I got rid of my NO3 minus on this side. So just going to bring this down, plus four NO3 minus. What a nightmare.